Greetings, friends and enemies. <laughs> okay, so today I want to share with you how to be able to always defend yourself and feel confident. This isn't so that you can go around and beat people up or I'm not being an advocate of, of violence, you know? If, if anything, um, I probably stop and have stopped many of the fights that I've seen almost break out uh, being a dancer in the club because it's just really not worth it. You people usually get into a bickering over something very trivial. Their egos, the moment, anything can happen. But here's the thing. You're living in a world where, you know, it's almost like you have the good and the bad, the positive people, the negative people, the angelic people, the demonic people. There are people out there, you know, we just had two people uh, have their stuff stolen from lockers where we work, you know, where I work. And so there are people out there that are really, you know, up to no good and will look to mug you or hurt you or bully you. And if you're a plant-based person like myself, it means that you are all about peace and consciousness, love and light and working on yourself here. But at the same time, you got to live in this real world, you know, the real world is not always about peace. And uh, as you can see, even the police are shooting people in the head that they shouldn't be. And, you know, we can't even trust our armed forces, police forces, to um, be protect and serve, which is what's on their vehicles. So it's like you have to know how to defend yourself is what I'm saying. It doesn't matter if you're about peace. The best way to have peace is to have peace when you yourself also know how to be ultimately destructive if need be. Because if I'm in a situation, I'm having a conversation with someone about let's chill this, this situation out, how can we resolve this? How can I, if I have offended you, how can I make that up to you? Because that is not my intention to offend you. Uh, I don't really want to go to jail. I don't think you want to go to jail. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to end up hurt tonight. I don't want to fight. That's why I'm not in the UFC. You know what I'm saying? I grew up a fighting champion. I probably could have done well in the UFC. But for what? For peanuts money that, that the UFC seems to pay these fighters and they all end up brain damaged and, and injured. And one thing my father said to me when I was fighting and I was British champion in Taekwondo, he said, you know, it's good you coming home with all these trophies, good discipline and everything, but you're more injured, son, than um, had you not known how to fight martial arts at all. And he was right. I was picking up an injury every couple of weeks, you know, getting kicked in the back, smashed in the nose, chipped teeth, uh, kicked in the jaw, ripping my jaw. I mean, it was just nonstop. For what? For ego? I already know I can kick 99% of the ass out there, all right? And that's not an egotistical statement. That's the truth. But then once you realize you can kick ass, why do you want to do it? If anything, the understanding of pure violence and evil teaches you not to want to do it. Because if you go down the pathway of what violence and evil is, eventually you find out that it's just cowardice, you know? The ultimate violent person is this politician in a suit, picking up a phone, telling somebody else to do his dirty work for him. He doesn't ever have to kill anybody, touch anybody, he just has someone executed. So. That's like the ultimate gangster too, you know what I mean? So when you realize that that's what the ultimate evil gangsters are doing, and they're not even doing the dirty work themselves, and you realize, well, why even try to be violent towards other men? You really don't want to. But there could be a time when you have to defend your family. And if you have to defend your family, how do you do it? All right, here we go. First things first, guard up. Your guard must cover this, the part of your body which is most fragile, so your, your jaw. You want your jaw tucked in. Your shoulders, you want them to be slightly hunched. You'll see Floyd Mayweather tuck his jaw in here. So even if he gets hit, he's rolling, right? So he's that, that's his guard. But you can do it with two. Mike Tyson's was that way, okay? So every punch, you wanna come back to here. I always make sure that I feel like I'm touching myself, okay? Right here. And your stance, you gotta work on that as a balance. You should be able to skip, but the key is to punch and come back. Punch and come back. Now, I'm not gonna punch hard because this isn't really a good punching bag. But I'm gonna learn, teach you how to punch quick and back. Notice I'm just... And 
what you want to be able to do if you're practicing is move, move, and then move, okay? You want to throw that punch back and move because you don't want to be there for the recoil or the, so it's, and the key is you're punching off the back leg, okay? This back leg is sprung load. So as I punch, this back leg has thrusted, you know, with the ass. Now, it can get more advanced like, but you don't want to get to that stage yet. Just Once you can get that down, you'll realize in a Shri situation, you would be more like this. And this is sport, by the way. This is defense. So, right? I just defended myself. Open palm strikes. Now, open palm strikes can also turn into claws, okay? With two claws to the eyes, you could finish a situation and be out of there. Just be out of there, you know what I'm Just be gone. Because I don't want you to think I'm teaching you how to be violent here. I'm teaching you how to survive. I'm teaching you how to be okay if you're being bullied. I'm teaching you how to have power because I have this power so that people don't bully me or my family. Now, doesn't mean I want to abuse it. Doesn't mean I'm saying, hey, yo, come fight me. I am good at fighting. I don't want to fight, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to hurt people. When I watch some of the fighters, the champions, some of them really know how to hurt people. Some of them don't, some of them suck, quite frankly. But some of them really know how to hurt people, you know? And that's because they're more intelligent. The more intelligent the fighter, the better they are at hurting people. But then when you become even more intelligent, you realize, well, God didn't give me this gift to go around hurting other men. And that's why you evolve out of it. But you gotta know how to defend yourself, all right? So this is why I'm teaching you to defend yourself so that when you're talking about peace, you can talk about it from a position of power. If you're talking about peace and you're just like, hi, I'm a weakling, let's be peaceful, then someone's gonna, be, some, some personality that doesn't give a damn about peace is gonna be like, man, get the fuck out of the way. Get the fuck out of the way. That's how they act. So unless you're like, no, no, you could get bullied. You know what I'm saying? And this applies for women too because women have a certain presence about them, a power about them, if they know this information. They're, they're different, okay, than women that are like helpless. The key for anybody as a workout, a punch workout, is to remember, in the street, it's gonna be this. You see these claws? That's what you're gonna be doing, right? You, you want it to just be messy. You don't wanna be all like perfect technique necessarily. It will be messy in the street. But what you do need to do while you're training, which is good for your body and for your mind, is just learn to throw lots of punches quickly. Ready? Horse stance, right? Both horse stance means uh, both feet are even, slightly more than shoulder width apart. And just Now, I don't know how many punches I threw, but I was just trying to show you to train these body parts to be quick, you know? They move quick and coordinated. And that way, if you ever had to defend yourself, it's like, look, I don't want any trouble, okay? Can we please go? It was that quick. Bang, okay? That guy's done. It don't even matter who he is, all right? Don't matter if it's John Jones, Brock Lesnar, a big motherfucker, excuse my French. If you were like, hus, 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 that's the end of the fight. Walk away, get the hell out of there. So, my point is, you have to know how to defend yourself for the coming times. And that way you can move back into peace. I don't want to be hurting nobody. I'd rather just be like, this just be, this just, this just fun to me, you know? This is just exercise. But at the end of the day, push came to shove. I have the ability to protect myself, my family, so I can walk around and be more peaceful. I can be peaceful because I'm strong. <laughs> and sometimes I'm a clown. God bless you, friends and enemies.